एपीजीए आपका So on behalf of our great party, all progressive grand alliance have successfully conducted this primary election and Professor Charles Sodunu has emerged the winner of the primary and the candidates for all progressive grand alliance APGA in the November 6, 2021 election, governorship election in Andhra State. I have the honor of presenting to Professor Soludo Charles Chukuma the certificate of return on behalf of the party, All Progressive Grand Alliance. Congratulations, sir. Please, let's come down, let's come down. Take your photo shots, photographs. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to now invite the candidate of the All Progressives Grand Alliance for the November 6th elections in Anambra State to make his acceptance speech. Your Excellency. Please, can we get seated? His Excellency is seated. Can you get seated? His Excellency is seated so that we can uh, proceed, please. Because just, 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 just a few seconds and we are done. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Anambra State. Yeah, please. Can we keep quiet, please? Excuse me. You are, you are blocking the... Uh, Your Excellency, uh, we are still blocking them. Let me start by saying, okay, okay. A P G A. A P G A. Abda. Onyaya na wanyo. Kokoroko, 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 Pedruku de la de Goyao, Yoburu Gemme, Pedruku Polo Pugoyao, Yoburu Gemme. His Excellency Usumbiao, Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Anambra State, and by the grace of God, the National Leader and Chairman BOT of our Great Party. Uh, the Electoral Panel from Abuja, from our Great Party, the INEC monitors here present, uh, let me say, uh, Speaker, and all other protocols, Your Excellencies, everybody, let me, I think the protocols have been very well established. And let me rest on them. And let me now, His Excellency is yet to be out, but let me continue. Um, Your Excellency, distinguished delegates of our great party, Your Excellency and distinguished delegates of our great party, it is with humility 
gratitude and total submission to the will of God that I hereby accept your nomination as the gubernatorial candidate of Africa in the November 6, 2021 governorship election. I want to thank the Alpha and the Omega who in his infinite wisdom decided that I should come from Anambra state of Nigeria and who has abundantly blessed me beyond the imagination. In gratitude to him, I will devote every minute of my remaining life on earth to serve him by working hard to live here better than I met it. This moment is God's time and God's time is the time. At this moment, ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency, I offer nothing but sent statements of gratitude. First, let me thank you all, our esteemed APGA delegates and thousands of our members whom you represent here for the mandate to fly our flag. I am grateful to you members at the 326 words, the local government and state excos of our party, members of the NWC, NEC, and BOT. I am particularly grateful to our indefatigable national chairman, Ozom, who Dr. Victor Ikoi and his dear wife, who foresaw and worked very extremely hard for this day. Our biggest thanks go to our national leader and BOT chair and ably working governor of Anambra State, Chief Sir Willie Madabrochubu Obiano, who and his amiable and supportive wife. Apoku Edike, you have shown exemplary leadership and statesmanship. I deeply treasure your belief, courage, ironclad commitment and leadership on this project. Under you and our national chairman, APGA is stronger as Nigeria's state largest political party and a clear leader in several ways. We are going to have several other occasions to truly celebrate you as a leader sent to us at this point in time. Let me also thank all the 31 self-funding support groups with over 200,000 members, the All Saludo support groups, the UIA, UAWA, as well as the millions of Indian Ambra who have been praying and demanding that I should step out to serve, especially, all the, especially at these challenging times in Nigeria. I am deeply grateful to the clergy, the traditional rulers, ASA to ASMATA, various youth and women organizations, trade and professional associations, CSOs, NGOs, ETC, who have rallied behind us. We thank all Nigerians from all other states who have also urged and supported us. And let me particularly thank INEC under the able sterling leadership of Professor Mahmoud Yakubu for its professionalism, and in particular, for monitoring these particular primaries today. And I'd like to assure INEC that APUGA is a law-abiding party that is very thorough about due process. It has never neglected or breached due process or electoral law, not now, not in the future. We also appreciate the security agencies who have provided us with excellent security. And also thank the, uh, all those who have helped to put this uh, primaries and organizational efficiency. We thank them immensely. I want also to use this opportunity to thank my beloved wife and children, the family, for their love and support. I understand their concerns and apprehensions, but I also thank them for their understanding and love. To the gallant co-aspirants, I salute your courage and participation in the democratic process. And let me offer my hand of fellowship and look forward to a partnership with all of you for a greater Africa and for greater Anambra. This is the time for us to unite. Yes, the victory is overwhelming. Over 93, 94% of the votes cast. Even if you assume that all the votes got by the uh, other aspirants were from the statutory delegates who still won by over 80%, even if the entire thing was done by only statutory delegates, we still won by over 80%. And this is an overwhelming mandate. But then crave the indulgence of my brothers, let's come together. Apuga is such a large tent. 
there is enough, enough room for everybody to contribute. To the millions of Ndiyanamra, I say this is your moment, says it. The November election is a very consequential election for the state. It will determine in which direction and speed of our march towards progress or retrogression. We are a unique state, richly blessed with exceptionally productive human capital scattered all over the world, but struggling to build a livable and prosperous homeland. Past governors try their best. Governor Badnuju, I always try to remind us, established the Anambra State University. Governor Gige built several strategic roads. Why Governor Pito B, as an APGA governor, built even more roads and in compliance with APGA manifesto, touched several other sectors and also did well as an APGA governor. Our current governor and leader of APGA has taken it to the next level by combining both the micro and macro dimensions of governance. Has given us the unprecedented, uh, unprecedented security, light up our number 17 bridges and several roads and infrastructure development, community choose your project, cargo, I mean, uh, and very fundamentally the institutionalization of governance at all levels. Many don't say this, that the soft infrastructure that it has also led. And now, the key ones, Anambra, for the first time in its entire history, is being bequeathed with an international cargo and passenger airport <laughs> under his leadership. And now the township stadium, the international conference center, etc., etc. that will be time to celebrate him fully. A fundamental summary measure of the Africa government's impact on the welfare of the people is the poverty incidence. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, poverty incidence in Anambra declined from 53% in 2010, 2010 to now last year, guess what, 14.78. That is, that is a summary measure of all the impact of all the things that a government does. How does it affect the welfare of the people? and you can calculate the percentage decline for an Anambra state. In other words, and I want to say to you, ladies and gentlemen, as my fellow members of APUGA, there is no state government in Nigeria that has comparable level of revenue that is available to an Anambra state that is doing anywhere near or better than an Anambra. This is a fact and we can verify that. And therefore, I say to you, Partisan politics aside, Apuga is serving Anambra people better. And the people do not want to go back to Egypt. This is why as members of Apuga, we should be very proud. We're giving Anambra, moving Anambra from level to level. And do you ever want to change a winning team? No. No, you don't. I mean, otherwise you want to go back. Anyway, we'll have an opportune time to engage those who think Anambra is not broken. Anambra is getting better, but we also need to consolidate to get it better and better and better and better. Oh, yeah. Of course, the road to Anambra becoming a middle to upper income, livable, prosperous homeland will remain a work in progress for a while. The government over the next four years will have to lay the foundation for Anambra Vision 2070, which His Excellency is also pushing hard to bequeath also to Anambra. Ours is a land of infinite possibilities and opportunities. We need continuity, consolidation with transformation to build on the existing foundation and maximize our potentials. We need to unite and mobilize the creative energies and capital of our people all over the world, as well as other investors to live out the essence of our motto, light of the nation. We will, in the fullness of time, at the official launch of campaign in August, unveil our campaign manifesto. To our beloved people of Anambra, I say, here I come. I am a poor boy whom God has lifted and gifted to serve. To the glory of God, I reached the peak of my professional career in my 30s. 
had the privilege of living in Ethiopia, UK, US, traveled to 45 other countries of the world as an itinerant scholar and consultant to 20 international financial and development institutions before I was called upon in 2003 to serve the federal government of Nigeria. Until 2009, I served as chief economic advisor to the president, President of Basanjo, CEO of National Planning Commission, governor of Central Bank, chairman of Nigeria Mint, founding chairman of the Africa Finance Corporation, and chair or member of our over 25 technical committees in the federal government. To the glory of God also, I have been decorated with over 200 um, awards, uh, international and national awards, including variously being declared as the Nigeria's Man of the Year, the third highest national honor, commander of the order of the Federal Republic, global and African best governor of Central Bank for three consecutive years, and then also, um, I mean, several I can count, one of the Africa's um, uh, 100 uh, most influential Africans and so on and so forth. Currently, I also serve as a member of the Presidential Economic Advisory Council. At this stage in my life, I believe it is now time to come home and serve my people. As a poor village boy who has been especially blessed by God, that's Charlie Mwambuafo, I desire to give back to society through selfless public service. If you then, the Anambra people, graciously employ me as your chief servant come November, I hope to deploy all the global and national experiences and networks, as well as the local experience and knowledge as a village boy to make you proud. This is even more so at this particular moment in our history as Nigeria grapples with transition to post-oil and post-COVID world, as well as insecurity and ethno-religious agitations. I am a Pan-Africanist and hope to work with other leaders in the Southeast if you give me the mandate and Nigeria as well to continue to work to create that next Nigeria that will be the, black, the pride of the black race. Let me at this moment wish other political parties success in their primaries and look forward to professional and issue-based campaigns. Opinion polls show that majority of members of other political parties say that they will support Soludo if Apuga nominates him. To them, to them I now say Apuga has nominated Soludo, so come around and support us. We can understand the desperation of some opposition elements who believe that the only way to stop Soludo from winning in November is to stop him from being a candidate. Now that I have eventually become a candidate, let's now allow the people to choose in a free and fair election. To our hundreds of thousands of supporters, the real work begins soon. Yes, Apuga is our own. And Anambra is Apuga Pongwem. Eh? <laughs> At the last elections, Apuga won 21 out of 21 local government and 80% of the uh, seats at the State Assembly. But we won't take any vote for granted. We will work hard to earn every vote. We will triple our efforts and campaign everywhere and reach everyone. Our target is not only as we've been saying, as we do the consultations, this time around, because this is our own. It's not just to win the 21 over 21, as the governor has rightly said. We're going to target to win the, win 21 over 21, but now target to win the 326 wars out of the 326 wars. Can we do that? Yeah. Of course, we begin to get that. And then also breaking the jinx of the 1 million votes mark in a free, fair, transparent, and credible election. We only urge INEC, and we believe that under the leadership of Professor Yakubo, that the coming election will be the freest, fairest election that INEC has ever organized. And if that happens, Apuga is sure to win at least 80% of the votes, because that's the party that is on ground here. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, let me thank you all for this overwhelming mandate and to say 
finally, the battle going forward is the Lord's. And I want to ask, who can battle with the Lord? 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 I say nobody. Your Excellency, thank you very much. Thank you, uh, all our leaders and so on. I think as I see the army and the quality of the delegates that are assembled here today, we are ready for the battle. But it belongs to God, and he will lead us aright, and we will march victorious in November. Thank you all, and God bless you. God bless Anambra, and God bless Nigeria. Thank you. <laughs>